I don't think there's been a bigger difference between the shirt you could buy in the shop and the one the players wore on the pitch than Cameroon at the 1994 World Cup. What was all that about? Mitra had been making really good footballs for a long time. The Multiplex, the Delta, but they were new when it came to shirts. The USA 94 was a World Cup debut for them as a kit supplier. Maybe it was this newness to the football shirt business that caused them to produce two shirts that were never actually worn at the tournament. Both are incredible though. The home shirt looked like a giant national flag with an oversized star in the middle, while the away was covered with stars in the colours of the national flag. But Roger Miller and co, yes he was still going, now age 42, only wore a relatively plain green home shirt at USA 94. And this yellow shirt was the designated away kit, not the stars effort. Also you could buy Jacques Songo's keeper top, but not Joseph Antoine Bell's, who even changed the colour of his shirt at half time against Sweden. There were sightings of the indomitable Lions doing a training session wearing the flag shirt though. So maybe that was its intended purpose. But why was this shirt so readily available to buy in the shops, while the actual shirt the players wore was nowhere to be seen? My theory is that neither the flag or star shirt met FIFA's regulations for the tournament, so two shirts that did meet the criteria were hastily produced, but only for the players and with no time to do a fresh run for replicas. It is possible that someone at Mitre just hit the wrong button and made loads of training shirts though. Anyway, which of the designs do you think were the best? Replica or reality? It's a tough one.